Hey guys, James and Beth here from Transitions Chiropractic. Start of the year for 2016, everyone's going back to the office, going back to school, and what do we do in both those situations? We sit. So, just a couple of short things to help you guys out with the sitting posture, why it's not so great, and what we can do to try and change it up. So, stock standard school seat or office seat, probably something similar to this. Now, if you can sit there like this all day, brilliant. But I'm not going to, and I probably doubt you will too. You'll probably end up somewhere like here, or somewhere like here. And clearly, my spine's working really hard in this position. Now, a few years ago, everyone was raving about the idea of an exercise ball to sit on. Now, once again, if you're really diligent and you're going to sit like this all day, fantastic. But you can absolutely still slouch on one of these things and not feel like you fall over, okay? So, if you do choose a ball or if you do choose a chair, try and prompt yourself every now and then to actually stand back up tall. Because even doing that every five minutes is going to prevent all those muscles on the back getting you into that forward hunch and getting you a neck that looks like a great grand mask. And nobody really wants that. Sorry, man. The alternate is standing. Standing desk is fantastic because I don't care how unbalanced you want to be with your legs, they're almost impossible to slouch at. You can't work at a standing desk in that posture. There's even some schools in America now that are fully standing desks, which is really cool to see. So I think we're seeing this really good change. Now, if you don't have the option of standing desk and we're not really doing the sitting right in the chair, there's a couple things you can do at home. Okay? or even during the office during the day. Number one, move your spine like a slinky. Really simple, let all those vertebrae rock forward, let all those vertebrae rock back. Try to open your spine as you go back as far as you can, bring your chest up towards the roof, and really curl it forward so it gets a nice big arch. Okay, so. Back, forwards, okay? Another simple one which is fantastic is backstroke, okay? Yeah, get in the pool if you want. That's probably not in most of our offices, so just swing your arms backwards. It's really going to stretch your shoulders and open that middle part of your back the right way. Something that's a little bit more intense is with a towel. Lie the towel going up your spine, rock back over it, and bring your hands back. Okay? Really trying to open and get that movement through your chest. You can remove the towel and move it up again, and just keep going up and back fairly quickly because the towel gives a really sharp edge and you don't want to hold it there too long. Now, one of the other things that's absolutely fantastic for the back, especially if it's been hunched forward all day, is to let it gradually open out. Now, one of the best ways to do this is scoot up next to a wall, scoot your feet up the wall, and lie like that. For the last two weeks, this has been pretty well my meditation pose. And it works really, really nice. My upper back's relaxed. My neck's relaxed. My chest can open back up. All the muscles in my shoulders can relax back to their normal position. And at the same time, I'm getting the blood circulating back through my legs the right way. So that's a couple of little tricks to help you with your sitting posture today.